Well, 15 year old Weston Herman was an avid hockey player when he was diagnosed with brain cancer at the age of seven. And over the past eight years, he's had two brain surgeries and almost two and a half years worth of chemotherapy. Well, 15 year old Weston Herman, he was an avid player when he was diagnosed. And now he's uh, gone through all of that. And our own Kevin Lewis caught up with him about his journey forward. Weston Herman has beaten brain cancer four times. He's been at risk for paralysis. He had a 55 week stretch of chemotherapy, has been on constant medications, and even got sick in parking lots before youth hockey games. But he's in remission now, still scoring goals, still inspiring others, and even stole the spotlight at Amelie Arena. Weston Herman! Words can't describe it. So much fun, just with everyone on their feet, just, you know, cheering the whole community, helping me. Uh, just go through everything, which thankfully in remission now, so doing good. Weston's not letting cancer affect his game. Skating for the Manatee Admirals, he led all freshmen in goals in the Lightning High School Hockey League. I definitely just stay determined. Uh, definitely focus on a goal and go to that goal. Being able to still play, going through everything, and just the fact that I was still on the ice going through that makes me proud that I was I stuck with it and help, helps me where I am today. Seeing your son beat brain cancer while continuing to play hockey can stir up some nerves. But Weston's father, Jared, just wants to see his son do what he loves. It really helped him get through, you know, these, these uh, you know, trying times to, you know, kind of get something to focus in on besides, you know, chemotherapy and surgeries and just really go out in the ice. And it's this one hour where it, all it is is just playing hockey and having fun. Weston's had the Tampa Bay community behind him 100%. He got to skate at a Bolts practice, spoke to WWE superstar John Cena, and developed a friendship with a fellow cancer survivor, Hoops Hall of Famer Dick Vitale. Reaching out every single week, asking how I'm doing, going through chemo and everything, and to see him have to go through what he had to go through after helping everyone, great, great seeing him ring the bell. The American Cancer Society teamed up with Heroes for Causes and the Hermans to raise money and spread awareness in a unique way through comic books. One of the heroes, Center Ice, was inspired by Weston, all the way down to the number 22 sweater. And we're just trying to help others to, you know, raise awareness because only 4% of all, you know, federal funds go to pediatric cancer. You know, we really need new therapies and really that are specifically, you know, designed for kids. I feel like it can encourage others to go through uh, what they're going through. Obviously, I don't have the worst of it. There's definitely much worse stuff out there. And so hopefully they can stay determined, get through it. Weston told me he doesn't like to brag about his story, but he's definitely earned the right to brag a little bit because it's going to help a lot. <laughs> so I guess if my story inspires others, I'd love to love to encourage that. Weston's been stable for about six months, but his latest medical issue is hockey related. He has a broken ankle, which the doctors say will keep him out for up to six months. But Weston told me it's going to be more like two. And given his track record of beating the odds, I would not bet against him at all. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.